Hey fuckers, Gaming Letter Neck here. Today I'm going to be doing another uh, gun review, and this time it's going to be on the new AR-15 that I just built for myself. It is an M16A2 style rifle. Yes, I know I promised in my other videos that I was going to do a video on my DMR uh, that I built. That it was, there was the DMR project that I was doing. I did finish it, and here's a picture. Here's me shooting it, but. Unfortunately, I just wasn't feeling that rifle, and you know, like I didn't feel I one with that. I didn't feel like I was um, applying the, my fundamentals. But anyways, we're gonna get started on what I have here. It's a basic A2, and a lot of the guy, a lot of you guys who's been in the Marine Corps or even the military back in the older days, uh, be way before my time, shot the A2, and you know exactly what the A2 is about. Um, but for for those of you guys who don't know, uh, I'm gonna go over um, the specifications of it, if that makes sense. But anyways, we're gonna clear the weapon first and see if there's any rounds in it. All right, there's no rounds in chamber, so we're good to go. All right. So the only improvements that I've done to this A2, uh, I, I don't have the old style military rifle sling. I have the uh, Vickers Combat Sling uh, Blue Force, and I just put my I just made my own cheek pad cheek pad over here. So my when I do the fat cheek, right? It's this fat cheek right here. I start sweating my face doesn't slide on and off of the buttstock so I did put uh, padding right here uh, how I did it was I basically cut out a piece of foam put on top of the uh, AR-15 buttstock and put tape over it I don't know you could put e-tape or whatever and I put uh, or this is like a, the, the, the self-adhesive um, bandage that you put on yourself when you're injured and I put moleskin on top of it so you know I have a nice comfortable uh, cheek pad to hold on to uh, to hold my face onto, um, but that's about the up. That's about all the updates I had to it. The reason why I colored this uh, desert tan or whatever you want to call it, kind of like an old school kind of desert storm style camouflage, not really kind of my own uh, customized style, was because my old DMR had a desert look, and I, basically what I just did was I used my old lower receiver, and all I did was took my upper receiver apart and changed it into an A2 style rifle. So, but when I got this part new, uh, it was black. So I couldn't get the oil off and I was too lazy to go out and buy like the uh, oil removal stuff and apply it to my rifle. So uh, I tried to take it off with CLP, but that wasn't working. So I decided to camouflage it, the upper receiver, uh, just to match the bottom. But I mean, I do like the old black rifle look, but I feel like Having my own camouflage kind of makes it my rifle, like my own rifle, like it's unique to me. But overall, yeah, I shot it today. It's a great rifle, and I love it. I freaking love this rifle. I, I'm absolutely in love with it. And I think that's what you need in a rifle. It's like you got to feel at one with the rifle. You know, you can't, because because once you feel like you have ownership over it, like it's yours, you tend to not want to spend any more money on trying to upgrade it because you're satisfied. At least I have a problem where I would like to spend a lot of money on my rifles to try to customize it just for the fun of it. It's kind of like Lego for me, um, but I'm completely satisfied with this. I'm pretty sure I won't be changing this one up at all anymore because uh, I'm totally in love with it. I shot it, it felt amazing. I felt I won with that. I could plow my fundamentals. Uh, some of the guys that I go out to shoot with that are beginner level shooters, when I hand when I hand them the rifles with the optics on it, like with the ACOG T831 or Vortex or US optics, you know, they're like, oh, shooting's not that bad. It's shooting so easy. Well. Optics helps you see better. It doesn't help you shoot better. It helps you see better. So when they go out to the range and you, they have optics, they can shoot the target. They can see it better. You don't really, in my opinion, you don't have to apply as much fundamentals when you have an optic because your body will naturally adjust uh, to you know what you can see. So, but when that, whenever I hand them an iron sight, uh, a, a rifle with iron sights, they're like, oh my gosh, like it's so much harder. I can't, I can't hit as much anymore. I was like, yeah, well. It's because you gotta actually apply fundamentals when you're shooting iron sights, because you know it's hard to see. You really have to stabilize your body better. You gotta control your breathing, you gotta control your trigger control, and everything. And even I still struggle with shooting with iron sights and all that, you know. So I just, I just love shooting iron sights. I shot iron sights more than I shot with the ACOG in the Marine Corps, uh, the TA31 RCO, the the Trigicon one, and you know I use other optics such as the Vortex razors and US optics. I shot with it, it just got too easy, and I felt like I wasn't really getting anything out of it. And every time I went to the range, I just feel like I wasted ammo, you know? So I decided to stick with iron sights. Um, 
There's gonna be a couple clips in this video of me shooting iron sights when I had an A4 build or an A3 build style build, but you know, I, I realized that you know I don't need all that shit on my rifle. I don't need that hand grail. I don't need that um, detachable carry handle. Just go simple, go A2, you know, because that's all I really needed in a rifle. You know, how, how often does shit really hit the fan where you need an optic, you know? I would prefer an optic with shit is the fan. I'm a real. But when it comes to regular practical shooting, I'm gonna stick with iron sights. And I don't see shit hitting the fan anytime soon. So, I'm gonna be shooting iron sights for a while. I love this rifle. Um, I feel like the A2 and the 20 inch barrels in the AR-15 world, the gun world doesn't get enough love. And here I am showing this rifle love and I absolutely do freaking love this rifle. Like, oh my freaking gosh. Like, it's freaking amazing. I love it. It's, you know, it's so, ah, it's just so well balanced. I just love it, you know? It's, ah, it's absolutely hot in here. It's been like, it's, it's over 100 degrees today. And I'm sweating my balls off just to make this video because I had to do it because I just got back from the range shooting this rifle. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love this rifle so much. It's my baby. Her name is Jenny, all right? That's what you guys are gonna call her from now on. Fucking Jenny. But anyways, if you guys like the video, thumbs up. If you guys didn't, thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. Stay sharp, be safe. And remember, Blends and Kills. Thanks for watching. Oh, bruh.